All right, we're here with Team 3663 CPR at the Pacific Northwest Plaquemis event. Um, we are super excited to show off their robot. They have a really slick arm that's been doing really well today and a uh, climber that they're eager to talk about along with some really sweet code that uh, controls all of that. So we'll go into all of that and more on this episode of Behind the Bumpers. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. True competitors know that every second counts. That's why Kettering University challenges you to dive in right away as a first year student. Participating in robotics programs helps Kettering students secure a valuable co-op. Whatever your interest, Kettering gives you more space to work faster and win faster. Learn more at kettering.edu slash first. Go ad free and access our videos earlier when you support fun with a membership through YouTube Join. For $4.99 a month USD, you can now watch most of our YouTube videos ad-free and gain early access to scheduled content with other options also available. Click the join button below to get started. Yeah, so over here we have our 2025 robot and overall this year we decided that we wanted a really simple and robust robot. Of course this year with the game, it was a little harder to make it simple with all the complexities of the game but we did our best to make sure that all of our mechanisms were as simple as possible and that we were able to score efficiently and hopefully win the competition. And I'm gonna pass it off to our software and leader. Hi, um, I think one of the fun parts about this bot was being able to figure out different positions of scoring, uh, being able to score all the way from L4 to L1, being able to score different algae in the processor and in the net. Um, this bot has been really, really cool to work with. Um, all together, it's been cool to just work with different collision avoidance things because although we're trying not to run into different things like the reef, we're also trying to make sure that the arm doesn't go into the belly pan. Uh, those were cool calculations to work on this year. Um, and also just making sure that we're placing everything exactly how we want to and different speeds at different levels. Um, yeah, this bot has been really cool in just the complex and the simple ways that it was designed. I'm gonna hand it off to Isaac. All right, so. Um, I'm going to talk about the arm and the grabber. So the reason for our design was initially we wanted a pass-through bot, but we didn't, we didn't think that a pass-through through the elevator was um, ideal for our team. So for the grabber and the arm, this is actually our fourth iteration from our design standpoint. Um, so we wanted, again, pass through so we have a sideways elevator and then we mounted the arm onto the carriage right so we also for our first iteration we had belts outside of the arm which we were a little concerned about the robustness of um, the arm because um, the belts could get stuck potentially on like the reef or something so over through for the first to the fourth iteration we decided to put the belts inside of the two by two aluminum and to run our wrist and our grabber. So the reason we also did this was for our center of gravity to become as low as possible. So our arm intaking would be like this and then coming out and scoring on the reef would be somewhat like this. Can so, we actually see the arm yeah. do that? Okay, we're going to see the algae as well. <laughs> All, right. All right, so that was our um, algae in the net and our coral um, on the reef. So I'm going to pass it on to Joey now to talk about our climb. Uh, when we uh, saw the original game, we found uh, the deep climb to be very important for the ranking point. Uh, we wanted it to be as simple and take up as small of a space as possible. 
so we decided to move the pivot point up. We saw from other teams that uh, latching into the cage would uh, be the best for uh, grabbing into it and being able to move the cage up to have the center uh, the chain in the middle of the robot. And we had to design it around the battery so it could counteract the weight of the elevator. Uh, we have a latch system that latches into the cage and it flips up and moves uh, the center pin uh, around here and the arm comes down uh, out of the way of the climber. And do you have any uh, like ratchet mechanism or is it just gearing that holds it in the air? We originally planned on having a ratchet that uh, would keep it in place, but we ended up being able to use just the gearing to hold it up for long enough. Thank you, 3663. It's been awesome getting to talk to you all. Um, I'm excited to see how you do with the rest of the day, and good luck. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell to stay up to date on future fun videos. True competitors know that every second counts. That's why Kettering University challenges you to dive in right away as a first-year student. Participating in robotics programs helps Kettering students secure a valuable co-op. Whatever your interests, Kettering gives you more space to work faster and win faster. Learn more at kettering.edu slash first. Go ahead free and access our videos earlier when you support fun with a membership through YouTube Join. For $4.99 a month USD, you can now watch most of our YouTube videos ad-free and gain early access to scheduled content with other options also available. Click the Join button below to get started.